Hello and welcome here on Random Rotation. I hope you're all doing well. Today I would like to introduce you to a little helper tool that I stumbled upon the other day. Ready? Let's go. Well, first things first, where do you get this nice little tool? As boring as it sounds, there is a link down in the description. Click on it and this is where it takes you. Then go ahead, click on products and JS placement is the tool we want to download. It's free, so don't panic. And over here on the right, you can see it's available for Windows, Mac OS and for Linux. Just download it, install and open. And this is the start screen. On the bottom right, you can now see that the software already checked if it's up to date which it seems to be fine, but if you don't want that, you can always turn that off in the settings right here. And this, by the way, is everything. There's no need to dive deep into submenus of settings that we all don't understand. Let's begin. These are the five patterns you can choose from. Let's start with the first. And now it's always clicking on this rectangle here. And boom, there we have our first pattern. We can change some settings over here manually. And we can invert our pattern. And every time we click on generate, it generates a new random pattern, which is super cool. And once we're happy, we can save out a height map just like this or a normal map, but I don't need one right now. Let's have a look at these patterns. They look a little bit different. But also pretty cool. Let's save this one here as well. Okay. Next one. Velvet. Click. Here we now can turn individual axes on or off. Or of course mirror it on both sides. And yes, generate generates new patterns. Next one. Wire. Here I like to turn on cardinal. This is diagonal. Whoa, this looks good as well, right? Let's save this one out. And dots is our last pattern. Yeah, what should I say? It creates dots. <laughs> and this is pretty much all you need to know about this tool. Just play around with it and have fun. And the real fun begins inside of your 3D tool of choice, in my case, Blender. This is just a simple wire height map used as a textured displacement in Octane for Blender. But if 3D is not your thing, you can still make good use of these patterns. Here I am in Premiere and I use it as an overlay let me change the blend mode here for my video clip. And to make it a little bit more interesting, let me quickly animate the scale of this height map, like so. Boom. This is looking super nice, if you ask me. And it took me just 10 seconds. Yes, that is it. A super helpful little tool, I would say. I mean, come on, it is running stable, it is super easy to use, and it's free. What else are you looking for? <laughs> Go ahead, install it right now. <laughs> Boys and girls, thank you very much for watching. This video is over. If you liked it, 
you already know what to do, right? And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.